Hey everyone, welcome to another NLP video. Today we are taking a look at the paper Automatic Prompt Optimization with Gradient Descent and Beam Search by authors from Microsoft. This paper is about prompt optimization as the title suggests. Prompting has emerged as a popular approach for interacting with large language models in order to condition them to achieve certain tasks. The basic idea is that you provide a message to the LLM, instructions as well as examples, and you hope to, to get a correct answer for a target task. And this has been successful for a number of applications, such as chatbots, classification. However, one major challenge with prompt engineering is that it's quite manual and it involves a lot of trial and error. So typically you start off with a simple prompt, you start adding examples, you adjust the instructions, you add, add guardrails to the prompt to make sure that it doesn't produce anything weird and quickly the complexity increases and you end up stuck wondering what to do, how to improve this prompt further and what the authors look at is the problem of whether we can come up with a more quantitative type of framework which uses a data set of inputs and outputs to tune automatically a prompt, edit the prompt to move it to a direction where the performance improves. And this is particularly important since also each prompt might not be the best one for a corresponding LLM. So maybe now, now where you're using GPT-4, maybe GPT-5 comes out, or maybe you wanna use an open source LLM such as Falcon, but now the prompt that you have optimized manually with a lot of effort for GPT-4 no longer works. And the basic idea of this specific paper, it's quite interesting to actually use the LLM to do the editing process and to do something which the authors call prompt optimization with gradient descent, quote and unquote, because all that they do is kind of like mimic some sort of an optimization process by using prompt engineering themselves, actually. So let's take a look at what they're doing precisely. So the basic idea is you start off with an initial prompt. Here, the task is about detecting if a message is a jailbreak attack. For example, an attempt by a user to break through an AI system's prot protections. And they provide a bunch of examples for the task, mini batches. They use an LLM to compute gradients, which actually are specific instructions for how to edit the prompt in order to improve it to make it work better. So for example, here, one gradient was the prompt assumes that users attempting to break through AI system protections would explicitly mention it in their messages, when in reality, they could be more sub subtle or indirect. And based on this gradient, quote unquote, they come up with new prompt candidates, which tweak the initial prompt to make it better. Here, adding regardless of how subtle or indirect to the original prompt. And finally, they use a bandit selection algorithm to pick from the, all of these prompt candidates the best prompt to use for the task. And this process is repeated several times, several iteration steps getting new population of prompts, evaluating them, picking from them, uh, a number of them, uh, maybe not, not a single one, and then in the end, coming up with a prompt that work, works better. The authors do experiments on a few classification tasks, jailbreak, sarcasm detection, and a few other ones, showing that there's an improvement of up to 31% over the original prompt. So let's look at, look at it in a little bit more detail. Maybe just to give you a bit, a bit of a context about this field. This is quite an interesting field in NLP. There's quite a few works on this. Some use reinforcement learning to provide feedback for editing the prompts. Others use tools like Monte Carlo, tree search, evolutionary algorithms, other directions of research, choose to directly optimize the LLMs by modifying or adding a small number of parameters to them, which are tweaked using the labeled dataset. 
So it's quite an active and interesting research area. And this method is interesting because it's using, first of all, just the LLM itself to do the prompt optimization. So the only tools used are the LLM for basically for everything, for editing, for selecting, for, for the whole process of optimizing the prompts. This figure illustrates how the process works. Starting with a prompt, you provide some data X and Y, and you generate some prediction Y hat. You provide this to another prompt, which is the gradient generator, quote and unquote. This name might be a little bit misleading because there's not really any gradients. In the traditional sense, this gradient thing is another prompt, which generates a few explanations about what is wrong with the current prompt based on the prediction and the true label. Once you have these gradients, you pass them through editing prompt, which generates a few proposals about how to edit the prompt to improve it. Then finally, these new prompts here are passed to a bandit selection algorithm, which picks a single improved prompt, which is then selected as the initial prompt and the process is repeated. Crucially, this function for estimating the prompt, as well as this function for improving the prompt is implemented with an LLM call. And another important feature, which I should stress again, is that actually they are doing something similar to Beam Search in the sense of they're not only exploring one direction for improving the prompt, one gradient, but multiple in parallel. And to do this, they're using this bandit selection method. This allows them to explore multiple hypotheses regarding what could be the problem with the prompt and then pick the best ones or the best one to focus on further, allowing a better exploration of this space of possibilities. So let's look at some experiments of this method. They do experiments on four tasks, jailbreak detection, hate speech detection, fake news detection, and sarcasm. All tasks are classification tasks, although the author has mentioned that the methods can be applied to other tasks such as a dialogue, chatbots, machine translation, or in theory, anything you can think of. The authors compare against a bunch of baselines, Monte Carlo baseline, reinforcement learning, auto GPT, which is a popular library on GitHub, which relies on agent controlled feedback loops to improve its responses. In a way, AutoGPT is quite similar to what is proposed here because it is also relying only on prompts to rewrite and to improve its decision-making process. Here, similarly, we are relying on a bunch of prompts which generate candidates and then pick from them and rewrite the prompts to improve the decision-making process of the prompts with the difference that AutoGPT is not really based on a supervised dataset, but here we're using a supervised dataset to improve the prompts directly using the signal from those datasets. There's also another baseline which is leveraging evolutionary search. So what the results show is that on those tasks, the APO method, which is from this paper, performs all the other methods in terms of F1 score on the classification tasks. The improvement can be quite big, for example, for jailbreak from 0.65, let's say, to 0.85 improvement. They do a bunch of ablation studies. They look at the impact of using Beam Search over Greedy Search. So Beam Search definitely helps, as expected. And they also look at the number of optimization steps needed to get a good performance on these tasks. And what they notice is that typically around four steps, three to four steps are sufficient to get to the highest score on all of those datasets. And after that, you're getting uh, like a drop in performance, leading to suggest that at one point, all of this iterative rewriting starts to harm actually the prompt and maybe the resulting prompts end up being bloated or end up being imprecise. So in overall, this is a very interesting approach to prompt optimization, which is a significant problem that 
many engineers are facing today where they are required to use large language models a lot, but there isn't really a way, uh, like a principal way to do prompt engineering. It all remains more of an art than a science. And there's differences across every LLMs. There is lack of consistency and lack of rigor around this prompt engineering field. So it's promising to see techniques which aim to systematize it a little bit and to bring more rigor into this field. So that's all that I wanted to talk about in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.